Hey everyone! In this tutorial I will show you how you can use a different skeleton and replace the default character of the adventure kit with your own. For this example I have chosen the Couch Knight skeleton because um, the size and proportions are a bit varied from the default mannequin. And the first thing you need to do is open the skeleton, show the retargeting options and set all retargeting to skeleton except for the root bone that will set to animation and the pelvis that we will set to animation scaled. And then we'll open the retargeting manager, select the humanoid rig and in this case luckily all the uh, relevant bones are already set. So we'll save the pose, save the character and the mesh. And next we'll go to Adventure Kit, Adventure Kit Core, Characters, Blueprints, select the Animation Blueprint, right click and retarget it to the Couch Knight character. This will take a while. And once all the animations are retargeted, we'll rename that to Couch Knight so we can differentiate them, save all the animations and we go back to the character blueprints and for this one I'll copy the default character uh, like this. Call this couch. Oh, let's just call it BP Couch Knight. Open it up. Go to the viewport and replace the mesh with our Couch Knight character and the animation blueprint with the retargeted animation blueprint and set our... so you see the character doesn't quite... it's, it's a lot smaller so it doesn't really fit the capsule so we'll change the capsule height to 70 and the radius to about 20 maybe and place the character uh, right at the bottom so the feet stay on the ground. Compile and save. And we want to make sure that our level actually uses the character. So we'll set the game mode and change the default pawn class, pawn class to our couch knight. Save again, and there it is. And it already jumps to badges, but kind of doesn't really look right because the animation is still, or rather, the offset from the ledge is still configured wrong. So we'll change that next. Go back to our blueprint, open the character movement uh, component and go to the ledge offsets and let's say minus 20 for Z and 15 for X and this is a little too... ah sorry not 15 but rather minus 15 no <laughs> let's say 30 Let's just test around a bit. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Well, that looks alright. Um, so the character is like mostly on the ledge. You can still fiddle around with the values if you like. And next we need to tell our uh, ledges that we have a new character. So we'll set the transition character to Couch Knight to make the jump transitions regenerate now the character should jump left and right. Yep. The last problem here is that if the character goes up, the root motion is a bit too much for the character. So the root motion animation was created for a much larger character and since this one is smaller, you can see the root motion um, kind of overdrives the animation. And to fix that, We'll go to our blueprint in the event graph and at the begin play event 
So whenever the character starts, we'll set the root motion translation scale to about 0.6. And this is the scale that is applied to the root motion translation, um, just as the name says. Uh, and once we have done this and go on the ledge and climb up, you can see the animation now matches the uh, climb up. This uh, method is a wrapper for an already inbuilt Unreal Engine functionality. I am not sure why the engine hasn't exposed this to Blueprint yet. So it may well be that this function changes in the future, but in that case I'll update the tutorial here. Now you have noticed that at the last um, last time we tested there was a problem and this is because whenever a character runs over a ledge it snaps to the ledge and since the animation that we've retargeted and changed in translation is now a bit too short um, the character kind of tries to go back to the ledge instantly so we'll adjust the ledge size a little bit to match it to the new animation and now when the character goes up it no longer tries to transition to the ledge after the climb up animation so so far for the transitions now the character blueprint still has a few anim montages that we haven't retargeted yet for example dodging is done by the dodge montage so we need to retarget this as well to our couch night and then select that and press the arrow here to plug it in and now the character can also judge and last but not least the when the character wants to use something it plays an animation to grab an object and we want to retarget this as well and once it is retargeted plug it in here um, similar for weapons so if the character should shoot a, a gun or the swing a sword then you need to retarget these animations as well but that's pretty much just repeating this process over again um, yeah and this is how you can use a custom character with the inbuilt character blueprint and animations and retarget everything and adjust the character after retargeting. So thanks for watching.